Today I'm going to teach you about how to control a servo motor. For this tutorial you'll need an Arduino, a breadboard, an external power supply of 4.5 volts, a mini servo, I'm using the SG90, 5 jumper wires, male to male, and a power plug adapter to connect your external power supply to your jumper wires. I've wired my servo with three different jumper wires. I used the brown one with black for the ground, red for red for the current, and the green one with the orange on the motor to control the motor. So I've connected the wires. What I did was the red wire from the servo goes to the power plug. And the breadboard connects all the grounds together. So the ground of the motor, the ground of my external power supply plug, and the ground of the Arduino are all connected here on the breadboard. At last, I have connected the signal to pin 8 on the Arduino. So now we have a full circuit. And the nice thing is that we don't draw current from the Arduino to feed our servo it's being drawn from this external power supply. We're doing this to uh, reduce the amount of current floating through our Arduino, breath, um, Arduino board. And with the external power supply, we can uh, give current to the motor. It's always better to use an external power supply. For experimental purposes, sometimes you can use the ground of the Arduino the 5 volt of the Arduino and uh, the signal on the Arduino but I do not recommend it since you can really easily damage your Arduino board. Use an external power supply because otherwise you can easily damage your Arduino board. So let's have a look at the code. On line 15 I've added this URL where you can see the specifications of this servo. And here I written down the pin connections for your reference. And on line 23, we're actually starting the code by including the servo library. So what we're going to do is we go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and then we're going to search for servo. And if you think, why is it hanging? It's because it's updating the libraries every time you open it, sometimes quite annoying. And then you see here the servo library by Michael Margolis. And then you can press install. I've already installed it. So after installing, we continue. We have here a variable called pos, which is abbreviation for position. And we set the position of the servo and I set it to 10. You can set it to, I don't know why I set it to 10 because we're using it here in the for loop. Maybe because I tried something with it. Never mind, you can set it to whatever you want. Then in the setup, we attach the servo to pin 8. So we tell the servo object, which we initialized here, that we attached our servo to pin 8 and we write a 0. And this 0 means basically no motion at all. But if you want to adjust your servo position, you can add it here. You can set it to whatever you want. We wait for 40 milliseconds to adjust the servo to this, uh, to, for the servo to process this comment and move to the servo position. And then we enter our loop. And the loop is very straightforward. Basically two for loops. One goes from 0 to 180 and the other one is going from 180 to 0. So forward and backward. We write the position of the for loop. So here the position which is, oh, sorry, of the variable the value we write it to the servo so it will move and we give it 10 milliseconds to process the command and move over to that position. When this iteration is done, we're going to the other one, which is exactly the opposite. If you look closely, you see here plus plus plus, here plus minus minus, and you can also see that here it's uh, great, uh, smaller than equals and here it's bigger than e greater than equals. So first it iterates from 0 to 180 and then we start at 180 to 0 with exactly the same code. So then it runs backwards. 
So what it does is that it's moving 100 degree, 180 degrees forward and then 180 degrees backwards. We're now going to upload this code to the Arduino and I'll show you what it looks like. I've uploaded my sketch to the Arduino and as you can see the motor is moving 180 degrees. It's moving between 0 and 180. And I'm using the external power supply and when I disconnect the external power supply you see the motor isn't moving. So in that way I'm really sure I'm using the external power supply and not drawing current from my Arduino. You can use this servo, for example, for uh, robot arms. You can also use it to signal something. You can create a dial from cardboard around the motor and you can use this as um, a needle which shows you, for example, the temperature. Use your fantasy and uh, see what you can make with this. If you have any questions, you can ask it in the comments. And you can download all the course material in the link below this video. Good luck!